Hey, yo, 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 microphone checker one, two. I said a microphone checker one, two. Yo, it's Led Manic, and I'm back, guys, because I have to get back on my shit and upload more shit more often. Yo, what's good? So, uh, today I'm bringing you a little bit of gameplay uh, from Metal Gear Solid V, Phantom Pain, uh, the Trader's Caravan mission. Uh, I'm showing you a couple of strategies I employed on this mission, because I ain't gonna lie. I tried this shit a few times and I kept fucking up. I kept getting uh, spotted by the guards and <laughs> what else happened? Uh, just one big mess pretty much with the, the whole skulls situation when they hop out the van and all that kind of shit. So um, anyway, I'll kind of comment about what I do in the gameplay and I wanted to talk about another topic as well, which was um, we're just about a week away now from the Uncharted Drake's Remastered Collection or whatever it is for PS4 and whether or not it's a good idea to purchase it so with that in mind it is truly only a remaster so it's only upgraded graphics um, 60 frames per second though you know that's not too shabby Better than the old PS3, 30 frames or 18 frames per second, whatever it wanted to run at the time. Um, but getting it though is mm, is a good debate. If you haven't played any of the Uncharted games, then I would say yes, you should probably definitely pick it up. Um, three games for the price of what, like one? Three, three games for the price of one, and. All remastered beautifully. It'll look great on PS4. The demo's out at the moment. Um, I'd probably recommend it if you haven't played Uncharted yet. The other thing is, if you don't get this collection, you can't play the fucking beta. So, fuck. <laughs> the beta is only going to be available for what is it? I think it's a week and a half or a couple of weeks in November or December one of those um, so that's a big selling point right there um, being me I'll probably get the Uncharted collection just so I can play the beta because I'm stinging for some Uncharted 4 multiplayer man so that's probably the deal breaker right there and I think that's a bit of a sly move by Naughty Dog to kind of force you I guess in a way you could say that to if you want to play the beta you have to buy the fucking collection that's like a $60 jack move right there. <laughs> but, um, we'll see. If you just want to play the beta, then... I don't know. It's probably not worth it just to buy it, but... It might be worth it. In a way, if you're, if you're a big fanboy and you're stinging for some action. But because the beta only runs for like a little... Like, time period. I don't know if it's worth it or not. So, we'll just have to see what everyone does. And you can see, in this part of the mission, I'm just like, ah, fuck it. So I just swung the truck in front of these guys, parked the vehicle, and out jumped the skulls. I had to cut that little scene, because Konami are a bunch of whoremongers, man. They, you upload a little bit of footage from their game, and they get all picky and shit. So I had to cut that out. Um, so my strategy for this mission is I draw the skulls, um... I didn't actually want to draw them, but it ended up getting drawn. Like, I fucked around too long in the uh, the airport, and the van just took off. So I'm like, all right, fuck it, I'll follow the van. Which was good, because I got out of the, um, the airport with all the soldiers are, and I could fight all the skulls here with the rocket launcher in the middle of nowhere on the savannah. So that was kind of handy. Um, so one tip I can give for this mission, if you, haven't, if you have trouble or whatever, um, upgrade one of your launchers and just go to town on the skulls. And if you have quiet, uh, bring her along as well. Uh, put her into cover mode, and she can fuck the skulls up. Um, now, after you fuck the skulls up, uh, you have to. I think that's it. Oh yeah, you just got to lift the truck to safety, and pretty much at that whole airport base, every soldier will be stunned. And this place is a motherfucking minefield, man. So run the fuck back here, grab all these containers, and there's so many fucking containers here, you'll run out of Fulton recovery extraction balloons. 
there's so much shit to grab here, so um, take your time. Most of the soldiers will be knocked out. I think a couple of them woke up in a space of about 10 minutes or so. Uh, there's a blueprint to be found here, and a cassette tape, as well as just tons and tons of fucking, um, whatever they're called. Fuel and metals and sh biological shit. <laughs> so take your time, full and everything. Uh, don't forget to blow up the anti-air radar because you can get your helicopter to land in the base while everyone's asleep. So that's pretty handy. <gasps> Holy shit, I'm out of breath. And I'm probably gonna start doing live comms uh, soon because it's easier for editing for me. I don't have to edit out all these hour-long missions and shit. Uh, I just blow up their power because I'm a little sabotage artist before I leave. That's like my style. <laughs> leave them with no lights. And yeah, guys, just hop in the chopper. A pretty easy mission. Just draw the skulls away, blow them the fuck up, and that's that. Alright, um, hope you enjoyed the vid. I just wanted to upload something quickly. I know the commentary might seem a bit rushed. I'm a bit out of breath too, to be honest. Um, I'm going to go eat some chicken. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Leave me a comment of what you want to see or whatever, whatever. And I'll catch you on the next vid. Peace out, homies.